Welcome to 1.3 examples. Well, the first one we're going to do is number 12. Whenever we do complex numbers, we have to simply add them or subtract component-wise. So we're going to add or subtract the, the real part, which is the A, and the imaginary part, which is the BI. And so our final answer has to be in the form of A plus BI. So sometimes the easiest thing to do is just to separate them. And so I just kind of group the, um, the A parts and the B parts. So 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 7i. And that would be your final answer for number 12. For number 20, again, we have to make sure that it ends up being A plus BI. And we're going to go ahead and do distributive property first. We're also going to use the fact that uh, i to the second power is equal to negative 1. And so 3i times negative 3 is negative 9i. 3i times 4i is 12i squared. And so using this fact, we can go ahead and rewrite it. Oops, sorry. So it's going to be negative 9i plus 12 times negative 1, which is negative 9i minus 12. We do have to rewrite it. It has to be in the form of a plus bi. It should be negative 12 minus 9i. For number 27, Again, it has to be in the A plus BI. So what we're going to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. And what's going to happen is that going, that's going to give us a real number in the denominator. And so when I rewrite this, I'm just going to go ahead and do parentheses to make life a little easier when we go ahead and do uh, distributive property in the numerator. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the numerator, the denominator first. So negative 2i times 2i is negative 4i squared. Remember that we know that i squared is negative 1. Here we're going to do the distributive property. So 2i times 2 is 4i. 2i times negative i is negative 2i squared. So rewriting this with this fact here, we get negative 2 times negative 1. And then negative 4 times negative 1. And so here we end up with 4i plus 2 over 4. And I'm going to just rewrite the, the numerator in the proper form. And then I'm going to separate it so it can be written as a plus bi. So it's going to be 2 over 4 plus 4 over 4i. And then I can go ahead and simplify that to 1 half uh, plus i. Number 38, we're going to use this fact right here, and this is found in the textbook. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the, the negative exponent. Remember that if I have a to the negative n power, I can rewrite it as 1 over a raised to the n power. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this some of this information here. I know that a to the m times a to the n it's just equal to a raised to the m plus n. I also know that a to the m power raised to the n power simply means a raised to the m times n. So we're going to use that information to solve this one. And so I'm going to separate my i to the 23rd into i to the 22nd, sorry, times i to the 1st. Now, I'm also going to sip, uh, split up the 22 uh, into i to the second power raised to the 11th power and then times i to the first power, right? Now, I know that i to the first power is just i, so I'm going to rewrite that one as just i. And I know that i squared is negative 1, so that's going to be negative 1 to the 11th power times i. The other thing that we know is that if n is odd, right, if my exponent is odd, then I can rewrite this simply as this, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to work out that way. And so I know then that negative 1 to the 11th power is just simply going to be um, negative 1 to the 11th power, which is just negative 1. And then negative 1 times i, oops, that's not what I wanted, times i is just going to be negative i. Now, we're not done. I have to, I don't want to leave it as a fraction. So I have my negative i. I'm going to go ahead and multiply by the conjugate, which is just i. So 1 times i is i. Negative i times i is negative i squared. We do know that i squared is negative 1. So it's going to be i over negative negative 1, which will just be i. 
The next one is number 55. We're going to go ahead and solve this. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, just remember that if I have the square root of a negative value, I can actually separate those into, into this. And then I can use the fact that i is equal to the square root of negative 1, which this will just be i square roots of 9, of n. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. We'll take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this into negative 1 and then the square root of 4. And then I know that square root of negative 1 is i, so I'm going to put my i there, and the square root of 4 is 2. So then I have two possible solutions, or two solutions to this, which would be negative 2i. I'm just going to go ahead and rearrange them, and then 2i. For number um, 58, it's the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 25 from both sides. Take the square root of both sides. So then this is going to be plus or minus um, uh, square root of negative 1 times square root of 25. Remember that i is equal to uh, the square root of 1. So then this is going to be i, and this is going to be 5. Square root of 25 is 5. So then my two solutions is negative 5i and 5i. And then... Um, the last one, 71, that, that should actually be not not um, not equal to 1. Let me look it up here. That should actually be uh, 16. So x squared is equal to 16. Uh, x to the fourth is, is equal to 16. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to do slightly different. I'm going to go ahead and um, subtract the 16 from both sides. And then just remember that if I have x squared minus 16, I can go ahead and simplify that as x minus 4 and x plus 4. So I'm going to use this to solve this one. So then this is going to be x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. And so um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I know that x squared minus 4 is equal to x minus 2 and then x plus 2. So I'm going to use that information to factor uh, the x squared minus, minus 4. And then now I know I'm going to set each of these equal to 0. So x minus 2 is equal to 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0. And x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Well, this is going to be x is equal to 2. This will be x is equal to negative 2. And then this will be x squared is equal to negative 4, which means that x is equal to, and we did this in the previous problem, is sim simply equal to plus or minus uh, 2i. So then my solution set for this one would be uh, negative 2, negative 2i, oops, um, positive 2, and then positive 2i. And I believe that is the last one. That's the end of 1.3 examples. Thank you.